ChatGPT is an online AI chatbot created by OpenAI. Random tidbit, GPT in the name is an acronym that stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. That's right, I said transformer. We have access to online Optimus Prime. The cool thing is it has the ability to interact conversationally with users and answer questions. So naturally, we talked about finances. Hey everyone, welcome to Cash Clarity, where we teach you how to use money to get what you want. Today, I wanna see if ChatGPT can help me make money. Question number one, what is the best ratio of stocks to bonds in an investment portfolio? His answer, as an AI language model, I do not have personal views or opinions. However, traditional investment wisdom suggests that the ideal ratio of stocks to bonds in an investment portfolio varies depending on factors such as the investor's risk tolerance, investment horizon, and financial goals. Younger investors with a longer time horizon and a higher risk tolerance may consider a more significant allocation to stocks, while older investors approaching retirement may prefer a higher allocation allocation to bonds for income generation and capital preservation. Some common portfolio allocation strategies include 1. 60-40. This strategy allocates 60% of the portfolio to stocks and 40% to bonds. Number 2. 70-30. This strategy allocates 70% of the portfolio to stocks and 30% to bonds. And 3. 50-50. This strategy allocates an equal split between stocks and bonds. It is important to note that there is no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, as each individual's financial situation situation, risk tolerance, and investment objectives are unique. Therefore, it is essential to consult with a financial advisor and conduct thorough research before making any investment decisions. Surprisingly, this advice is pretty conservative considering its highest split is 70-30. I don't know if OpenAI's legal team had them write the code that has the bot follow up with it's essential to consult a financial advisor part, but if you've seen some of my other videos, this is something that I oppose. For investment purposes, you are more than capable of index investing through a company like Vanguard that has extremely low fees. Question number two is a bit of a trick question. After that advisor advice, I wanted to see if there was more advice that leaned towards heavy fee-driven investing. So I asked, what is the best mutual fund? Its answer was, as an AI language model, I cannot provide financial or investment advice. The best mutual fund for an individual depends on their financial goals, risk tolerant, investment horizon, and various other factors. It's essential to conduct thorough research and seek professional financial advice before making any investment decision. This was a pretty neutral answer, so I tried from a different angle with question number three. What do you think about index funds? Its answer was, as an AI language model, I don't have personal opinions or beliefs. However, index funds are generally considered a good investment option for those who want to diversify their portfolio and lower their risk exposure. This is because they are passively managed funds that aim to replicate the performance of a particular market index. As a result, they offer broad market exposure low fees and often outperform actively managed funds in the long run. Nevertheless, like any investment, it is important to research and understand the risks associated with index funds before investing. Okay, cool. I appreciate this answer. Passive, low-cost index funds do indeed outperform actively managed funds in the long run. Maybe chat GPT could make me some money after all. Let's keep going. Number four, how can I become financially independent? Its answer is, as an AI language model, I do not have personal opinions or experiences. However, here are some general tips on how to become financially independent. Number one, create a budget. Start by creating a budget and tracking your expenses. This will help you understand where your money is going and where you can make cuts. Number two, save money. Set aside a portion of your income each month for savings. You can start small, but aim to increase this amount over time. Number three, invest in your future. Consider investing in stocks, bonds, or other investments that can help grow your money over time. Number four, reduce debt. Pay off any debts you have as soon as possible to reduce interest charges and fees. Number five, increase your income. Look for ways to increase your income, including finding a higher paying job or starting a side business. Number six, live within your means. Avoid overspending and focus on living within your means. Seven, plan for retirement. Start saving for retirement early and consider contributing to a retirement account such as a 401k or IRA. Number eight, seek professional advice. Consider working with a financial advisor to help you create a plan for achieving financial independence. No, chatbot you were doing so well why did you have to ruin it with that advisor suggestion again you are losing me money robot boy let's see if the bot can stand behind someone else's advice so it doesn't keep telling me to hire an advisor question number five what are the best books on finance it's answer number one the intelligent investor by benjamin graham number two a random walk down wall street by burton malkyle number three the millionaire next door by thomas j stanley and william d danko number four the richest man in babylon by george s Clark.
Clausen. Number five, The Theory of Investment Value by John Burr Williams. Number six, Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Philip A. Fisher. Number seven, Security Analysis by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd. Number eight, The Warren Buffett Way by Robert G. Hagstrom. Number nine, One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch. And number 10, The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogle. This is a cool list that shows its generative nature in suggesting what it qualifies as best. I've not read all of these titles, but now I have some homework for my book review playlist I have going. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this list. Stay tuned for more book reviews. I wanted to ask a finance question from a different angle to see how it responded. I knew it had to be something direct and a change of pace because it builds conversationally based on your previous questions. So I asked question number six, when will the economy collapse? That's the question I asked ChatGPT next, but to hear the answer, you're going to have to watch part two of this video right here.